Um, you know, the, the, the Ottomans were occupying the Middle East for about 400 years. That was the Arabs' uh, own dark ages, right? And then the French and the British, they, they used the Arabs for the Arab revolt to get rid of the Ottomans, and they promised them independence, and it was all a lie. And then, of course, they carved up the Middle East to their liking, right? Um, yes, you, you take this strip of land, uh, boy, we'll have Palestine, and we can share this one, yes. And so they start carving it up, some, some you know, uh, countries for the British, some for the French, some are shared. And then, of course, you know, the British mandate ends in 47, 48. They pack up and they give it to the UN. But, of course, knowing full well that these Zionist paramilitary groups, which have been killing British officers and, and British troops for a few decades now and killing Arabs and killing non-Zionist Jews, are going to take over, right? And they know full well that this is uh, a full, you know, it's, it's, a, it's all part of their divide and conquer strategy. So if you look at the Arab world, you know, it's, it's, it's a very special thing, man, right? We have, from Morocco to Saudi Arabia, I mean, you can technically walk all of that, right? It's, it's one giant landmass. The, the Arab world is geographically united, right? They have one common language. They have a common culture, a common history, a uh, common heritage, and uh, common religions, right? And so... Um, they, they went and stuck Israel right in the fucking middle, uh, just to spite Arabs, right? Just to spite them. And someone tweeted this yesterday. I, I, you'll forgive me, I, I don't know who the author of the tweet was, but basically that, you know, it's a shame that as an Arab, you can't get into your car and just drive to Cairo or to Damascus or to Ramallah or, you know, to, to uh, Riyadh. Like, they've, they've divided us. They've succeeded in dividing us uh, politically, um, geographically, you know, with these Israeli walls and, and Israeli military, the Zionist occupation. It's tragic, right? Because it did not used to be like that, right? There was a point in time where you could go freely from one end to the other and... Uh, you didn't have these atrocities in Palestine taking place. Uh, although, to be fair, the Crusaders also did their fair bits, right? They also came to Jerusalem, and they, they killed everyone. They massacred the Muslims, the Jews, and, of course, other Christians, because <laughs> they don't actually care about religion. It's just uh, an excuse to plunder and to uh, conquer. So, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a shame. And... Um, Unfortunately, they, they've divided us, but I hope it's just temporary, although, you know, albeit far too long already, but I hope it's just temporary. I hope um, we see some unity again, right? So, 